In this episode of OS First Timer, Diane will be trying out the Debian based version of Cutefish OS 0.8. Will she find navigating this Mac inspired Linux distro a breeze? Keep watching to find out. So here you are on the login screen of Cutefish OS. I'll get you to log in now and tell me what operating system you think this reminds you of most. What feeling do you get from that? Well, certainly nothing about a cute fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, Unless this is some sort of flat fish or something. So. <laughs> so have a look at down at the bottom of the screen. Don't actually click oh, on anything. Oh, it's a Mac. It's like a, yeah. it's got that feeling to it's it. And Mac. if you look at the top oh, screen, yeah. So basically, like quite a few Linux distros out there, this definitely has a Mac feel to it. And with the dock at the bottom and the menu bar at the top, you know, it's then obviously not trying to hide it and be unique. Um, but it does have its own little spin on it. It's not identical to a Mac. Okay. Um, so Cutefish OS, which is based on Debian 11 and was built using Qt Quick and some KDE basic frameworks, was designed to focus on simplicity, beauty, and practicality. There are also a series of Cutefish OS applications that were developed to ensure users experience a unified user interface in their daily use of the OS. It's also open source, so anyone can help out with the project. Anyway, your first task is what time is it? 8.58 a.m. Fantastic. Now can you write, save, open, and delete a text document? Okay, well, there's the files where the file will be stored, I'm sure. Yeah. And do you like how it tells you what everything is? I do. I, I always have liked that. So it's nothing there, obviously. Yeah. So what if you wanted some Launch. more applications? Perfect. Great. How did you know that that... Would... Well, I couldn't... N none of the other ones looked as if they were going to do anything, and that's a launcher, so it's going to do something. So, okay, you should ask me what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, text editor. There you go. See how easy that was? You found it. Okay. Yeah. What we're going to do now is I want you to start writing something. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm writing something. And how do you think you'd save that one? Okay, save. You've got untitled document. Where are you going to pop this one? Well, first of all, now You've it's done titled. titled document a lot. I know. But how can we change the one to something a bit more interesting? Let's make it a thousand because you said I've done it a lot. So there we go. <laughs> Title document a thousand. Okay. I don't think we've done a thousand episodes. Maybe it's like 120. I, well, I don't know the exact number. There might be some lost episodes somewhere. So, you know. Gosh, oh, how many lost episodes? <laughs> I mean, what have I been doing all this time? Just cancelling out all the episodes? Okay. Okay. So where are you going to save that now? Where I'll save it on it? the desktop because then it'll be easy to find. In your documents folder. Sorry, you, you can put it on the desktop later to see what it looks like if you okay, like. But just so documents. you've got the experience of browsing, you know, documents and so, stuff like that. Okay. Well, so, I've already... It's yep, it's in, in you, that just went to the documents folder. Now you've got to click save. You've got to click save. But I thought okay, I'd already great. saved it. Well, you've got to... When you click save, that actually opens the folder because you clicked oh. on... You weren't actually in a folder yet. Like, you were on the folder. Okay, well, that's that's a little bit, you know... No, but that would be, like, similar to how it is on Windows. You... you you know, you've got to get into the folder. You can't just click on the folder and click save. You've got to get into oh, it okay. first. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you want to go to your files and folders and stuff and access that. And there it is. There we go. Was that really easy? That well, was like, actually you've, really easy. You've never <laughs> used this. No, I haven't. But This it, is your first time. It's definitely intuitive. So, okay. Yes. Now, this is a modern Linux distro. Does it give that modern 2022 feel? It doesn't feel like some old Yeah, it doesn't feel like, it like an old like Linux. It's... It definitely feels modern and up to date, 100%. Okay. Great. So, you can close that off now and... Let's see what it would look like if it was on the desktop. Oh, you want to put it on the yeah, desktop? Yeah, put it on the desktop. Do you like how it's got the downloads and it's a download thing and like, you know... There we go. It's right. on the desktop. Okay. And let's say you wanted to delete that now. Um, okay, it's not... Are you sure? What's going on here? Okay, well, I'll no, open no, it. No, 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 Can you please go back to that? You've, you've got me really curious now. I just... There's no delete. Read them. Open. 
open with, cut, copy, move to tr oh, move to trash. <laughs> I didn't see the. So you were specifically trash. looking for the word delete. I was specifically okay. looking for delete, and M has nothing to do M with D. So, so you weren't actually reading them. You're looking at the first letter. Yeah, and I was looking for a D. Okay, I, was. I get it. I got yeah. it. Okay, so move to trash. Okay, you could have also just dragged it into the bin too. No, I know. Either way. I, I knew I knew I could have done that, but I wanted to do, you know, find the other way of okay. doing it. Okay, just go back to the files and folders there for a moment because I want to point something out to you. Yeah. So uh, look at the way uh, you've got each folder has like a little symbol on it, which really helps bring about the fact that videos is videos, documents, you've got a little the document. The music is, is the music note. Yeah. Do you notice something that is very Anna Mac like about this? Look at where the close window, maximize, minimize, yeah, look at that. Is they're that not Mac the, like? No, that's Windows like. Yeah. Where does Mac usually have those? Uh, usually on the other side. That's actually. right. So it's got the Mac look, but mm. keeping things in a Windows format. And the Mac, Mac also has like the circle, the red yeah. circle and this and that. Let's so. have a quick look now just at what Mac looks like. Um, the web browser installed by default is Chromium. You'll basically find it super similar to Google Chrome. Probably mm -hmm. look familiar already. So there you can see the current version of Mac, which is Mac OS 12. You can see it's got the little circle. So you yeah. actually remember that, even though I you do. haven't tried out a Mac for a while. Um, but look, you've even got up here this little menu bar at the top, rather than a menu bar in a window. Mm. You see what I mean? This You usually have a menu bar in a window here, the file and stuff in yes. here, but they have the file separated up in the top there. Okay, just like a Mac would. You've got the time in the top corner, and you've got the dock at the bottom. And even the dock has the same similar look. It's got curved edges and it's got that slight transparency yes. look. So it's very similar, but it's not following the same format here. Next up, can you tell me what two plus two equals? Well, four. Oh no, two plus two equals fish. Oh no, really? It's cute fish OS. Come on, you should have seen that one coming. So you think the calculator was in that. Wasn't that launcher? Do you like Launcher shows you all your programs like that? Do you think that's a really effective way where it just shows you all your programs? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. I do because then you can just quickly see which one you need to do. Exactly. So two plus two equals fish. There we go. It's just an odd kind of fish. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's probably some species that's similar to. Okay, actually, if you fine. do look at it from an angle, it does look like a bit of a fish. <laughs> Even the four there. Okay. Now that you've done that, can you change the desktop background? That was easy, hey? And then you've Very got some backgrounds easy. here. You didn't have to go into properties. So and you can go to colour and just make it a colour. A plain colour, okay, yeah. Okay, the blue screen of death. <laughs> That's a terrible one. Okay. Um, well, if it's called fish, let's make it fish. There we go. Now look at that little fish over there. That actually really reminds me of like, I think Windows 8 in early days they had a fish yeah. or Windows 7, one of the two. Oh, that looks really fish. good. I like that fish. Call it the beta fish. See how there's like a, a sort of a shade of colour that kind of goes down. It's almost like there are mountains mm. on Mac. Have a little look here and tell me if this seems familiar. So it's, it's kind of yeah. got those similar and those purpley like colours and stuff. It just, it has that, it's not exactly Mac. But it definitely has that, that slight feel and, feel look, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, and another thing, have a look at this transparency on this terminal. Isn't that oh. just incredible? That's where you you know you type commands, install programs, and do various things in the terminal. You type things in there. Yeah. But doesn't that look really cool? It's got that really blurred glass. It's completely transparent. It does, and it gives me a vista feel when I see that. Yeah, so anything transparent just you gives can me a vista feel. See the background through that. It's, yeah, it's quite incredible. Yeah. So I thought that's really cool. If you don't want that um blurred look though, I wouldn't do this. But you can turn the blurred look off, so your terminal is perfectly oh okay i see with no blur but i feel it needs that blur yeah because then do it too, doesn't actually. differentiate yeah. you know it almost doesn't even feel like the window's there no. so that blur gives it that that perfect look it does actually it's almost like you're looking through frosted glass actually. exactly i'll pop it back on the fish for you so you think this should be the can i see what background. the blurred looks like on the fish oh yeah sure just open up the terminal there at the bottom and just drag the terminal over there you go See the blurred look yeah. on the fish. 
Okay. Be cool if they had that on a few more windows too. That terminal is just such a yeah. unique thing. But how many times would you need to enter actually commands into a terminal when you're It's on? Linux, remember. A lot of people who use Linux like the ability to use their terminal, okay. um, installing programs with it and things like that. Although, of course, with Cutefish OS, it's quite user-friendly and it's not always necessary to go to the terminal. So next up, let's say you wanted to take a screenshot of just this file window, yes. right? Well, have a look at how simple it is. In the dock there next to the bin, you can see the screenshot tool. Oh, sorry, that, <laughs> yeah, the video player there. Uh, okay, so that's a screen, you've just clicked on it. Mm -hmm. And how do you think you take a screenshot of just the file browser now? So I wanna um, take a screenshot of just this window here. And there you go, that easily, you select what you want. Yes. And then you can. Oh, download it. Not download it, click the tick. No, the, the, oh, well, you saved it to your desktop, there you go. How easy is that? Well, <laughs> The arrow down made me think I was downloading it. I think that I mean, was saved to the drive. Download yeah. and then arrow yeah, down. See. You see? I, yeah. I just... But how easy is that to take a screenshot? That's easy. You actually have something similar on your computer. You use something called GreenShot that gives you a similar effect where you print screen. It does actually, and then you but I have to press the button print screen. And... So you actually prefer it on the screen there in the dock so you can just click it? Whenever you well, want to take a screenshot? Either or. It doesn't bother me yeah. because it's just as easy to press a button on the keyboard yeah. and then automatically it goes into that little mode where you so, select it and screenshot, yeah. Okay, great. Now, the last thing we're going to check out on this OS is if you just go back to the launch pad, so show all your applications there. See Cute Fish Store? It's a blue icon in the centre of the screen. Store, yes. Yep, store. And this is where you get a few more applications, okay? So if you wanted to do a little bit more stuff, you could get Chromium, Firefox, you could click on Graphics, for example, or Office, click mm -hmm. on Office, and you've got a program called Only Office. You can click on that, and don't install it right now, but this is if you wanted an Office-like, like that looks very much like um, the latest version of, uh, what do you call it? Microsoft Office, doesn't it? See the, yeah, it the bar at the top and stuff? So if you want an Office application, you can download it from this app store here. So even Cutefish OS has an app store going. So is this uniquely just for this operating system, this app store, or, or just Linux in general? Or? So Cutefish OS is based on Debian 11. So it will clearly need something compatible with Debian. So mm -hmm. .deb files and stuff when you're installing. Um, but everything in this app store would be compatible with, with Debian. Just click on the settings here. This is if you want to change some of the settings on the computer. You've got your Wi-Fi, Ethernet. Just click on, for example, uh, appearance. And you can even sh switch it to a dark theme. So if you like that dark theme look... I don't. Which I mean, don't, it technically matches. It's fantastic this. at nighttime, the dark theme. You get what I mean? If you don't want bright white on your eyes at night, that looks really good. Okay. Well, it technically matches this background so yeah. and you've also got an option for magic like that just made the little system see that little pink yeah, there that little I like pink. Pink. click on magic lamp for example okay so let's say you minimize that now this is what magic lamp looks like oh oh jeez that that wasn't supposed to happen um i'm just going to rewind a bit to about a day ago when i was setting this up everything's small now because i have maybe that's why it's a magic lamp because <laughs> it just you never know what's going to happen it's um, magic Appearance, I just need to reset that to 200%. Our scaling was down. So basically, Magic Lamp is like this. You've got the normal look where you minimize like that. See that? How it just comes up like that. It just shrinks down. But if you use Magic Lamp, uh, what's happening here is it goes down like that. And for some reason, Magic Lamp is not working. Oh, there you go. Magic oh, Lamp works. So if you've got, it, it is an, a beta OS. This is yeah. Cutefish OS 0 0.8. But Magic Lamp, it sucks it into like a lamp type thing. See, so it sucks it in. And that actually reminds me of um, <laughs> a movie back in, oh, not a movie, a series. You know, Genie? Yeah. yeah. And the way the Genie got sucked I Dream of Genie? Genie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now let me just turn scaling and back that's on. right. And she used to do that and, and do that as in to make yourself disappear yeah that was a good really fun program there were lots of those sort of um shows there was bewitched as well yeah it was kind of like the genre of the day of the it 60s was and all 70s. magic stuff yeah it was i dream a genie and bewitched yeah they were the two i used to watch okay well there we go give me a final review of this os um and what you think of it okay. oh by the way is this the kind of cursor you would pick because the kind of cursor i use um this is what i chose but by default the mouse cursor just looks like that. I, I 
I like but, the big thick one because yeah, it, the you kind of lights. Yeah. see it more and exactly, you know, yeah. Yeah, it is quite nice. And you've got your sound up here, so you click sound and you've got dark mode on and off right up from the top here, yeah. you see. Um, Bluetooth on and off, you've got your sound here, yeah. which was down, sadly. <laughs> I didn't realise it was muted. Um, if there was any sound effects, we missed them. Oh, no. Um, but there, and you've got the time there, notification centre and stuff like that. Okay, so what are you thinking of this OS? Is it a nice Well, it's very mac like? feel. It gives a real Mac feel. Yeah, but at the same time, being Linux, it, it um, seems to also incorporate a window feel as well. So it's like, it's like Linux is a mixture of Mac and Windows. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's basically like what it's like. Something like that. Well, okay, fantastic. But it is definitely user-friendly because, you know, you gave me those commands and I haven't tested an operating system for quite a while, so kind of a bit rusty with you know, where things are and what to do, etc. But it was easy to navigate through all the tasks. And I did like that um, background of the fish. It was very <laughs> intricate. <laughs> well, can you now shut down QFish yeah, OS? And how easy is that? Yeah. The thing is, because it has a symbol there, and it's, it's a sort of like a symbol that's universal, it just makes it easier. And did you notice the shutdown was visible on the desktop? You didn't have to open a start menu first. Yes, and I like that because that's what you've done with my computer. Even well, I've just I'm... made shutdown the desktop icon, yeah. which is a bit different. Well, it's similar. Yeah. It's similar because you can see it on the screen. Mm. So I that's liked the, the way Kickfish did it because it was actually built into the interface rather than an icon that looked like a program. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of OS First Timer and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you then. Oh, 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 oh,